Uh, well, hello everyone, it's uh, David again. Um, I have a uh, new tool uh, which I'd like to uh, to show you today. Um, I've been, um, again, trying to, I guess, evolve the accuracy uh, and the precision which um, I uh, I have with the uh, with the models which I, I make. Um, you know, here, you know, accuracy and precision um, a lot in these videos because uh, often the, the tools which I, uh, I sort of find um, from the suppliers I, uh, I locate kind of give me, I guess, more, more of those, more accuracy and more precision than uh, either the standard tool, which you know, we've all been using for, uh, for, you know, for decades in some, in some cases. The one thing that I've been recently looking at is how do panel lines? Now, <clears throat> excuse me. So, if you're um, working on some very small scale, uh, like this um, uh, this speeder, um, doing the panel lining is uh, is absolutely fine. You can use uh, you know, standard uh, standard techniques um, uh, with a brush, etc. Um, many of you, just like me, uh, will be using uh, good old um, panel liner from uh, from Tamiya. And of course, the accuracy that you can get with uh, with this brush is uh, is pretty good. Um, on larger scales, it's absolutely fine. Uh, if you do one sort of one thirty fifth scale armor, for instance, um, I found uh, that's absolutely fine for doing uh, for doing panel lines. What I've been finding recently, um, when I wanted to do more uh, more detail uh, on engines or, uh, as I say, on smaller scale uh, pieces like uh, you know like this. Um, the, the brush that uh, you get with you know, the Tamiya, for instance, is um, it kind of isn't accurate enough. And I wondered if there was a better way of, of doing panel lining. Now, just like me, you've probably said, yep, uh, I've, I've had the same uh, same thought and had a look at uh, say YouTube, some videos, etc. And a lot of the videos um, kind of point to, again, alloyed fields. What else is out there which, uh, which we could use to... Um, uh, to help us with with panel lining, and what you often find is um, calligraphy pens uh, are used. Um, you know the uh, the, the metal uh, metal calligraphy pens. Now I've tried a few of those uh, over um, over the last what few few weeks, and the issue I found was the um, was the precision of the tip, the the actual fine tip that these calligraphy pens come down to isn't good enough. Not for not for uh, you know these kinds of scales that we're talking about. Um, the brush on the the Tamiya bottle uh, of uh, paddle liner is is smaller than some of the tips on the uh, on the calligraphy pens, so that wasn't really going to work. Um, so I had a again another look around for the suppliers I I uh, sort of work with, and uh, as luck would have it, uh, you know Dispay uh, have already thought about that, um, and interestingly they've I think also looked at alloyed fields like calligraphy and asked themselves, well that's a really good idea, a calligraphy pen, but we need to engineer it. So it's ideal for, for model makers who are trying to do panel lines at this kind of scale. Um, and I'll show you that now. I'll just put that down for a second. Um, so Dispay uh, do a, um, a panel lining pen, uh, which uh, I've been sort of, uh, I guess, testing for the last couple of weeks. And um, if you look at it, uh, it's ultimately a calligraphy pen. Uh, but again, it's been engineered for us, yeah, for us model makers. Uh, so let's get it out of the box. I say it comes in um, Dispay's usual uh, fantastic packaging. Yeah, they do all the branding really well. Let me put that down. And this is the panel lining pen. Again, um, it's, it's, it sort of speaks volumes about the Dispay's uh, engineering prowess. It's, it's, again, it's all, it's all metal construction. It has that uh, um, alloy, which they, they uh, use for, uh, for their um, craft knives. If, you're, if you've um, uh, bought any of the, the other um, knives or uh, saws on the store, you'll know the, the kind of build quality you can expect from, uh, from this. Uh, but of course, the most important thing is, is on the end. So let me just screw the end. Because again, they've thought about that. Uh, they've uh, they've 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 put a screw thread on the end, so it keeps this uh, nib absolutely perfect. So if I just show you that, that kind of gives you an idea of the the fine tip which is on this uh, this panel lining pen. And as I said, I've compared this to um, calligraphy pens, and this one by far is the finest which of course is what we're after with uh, with this kind of uh, this kind of paneling so um it is literally uh, as you would use a pen uh, so what I, what i've been doing is is taking good old uh, brush out let's put that there for a second and um you literally just dip the pen and if i put it on the on the kitchen towel you can kind of see 
how this kind of works. You can sort of dip it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if I bring this up to the camera and then touch this to the model, you can get crazy accuracy with uh, with your panel lighting. Um, you know, I'm just touching that to to this uh, this part, and say so capillary action is obviously doing the rest. What I like about this is that it's it's not as it's not as inflexible as a brush. Yeah, that brush that uh, comes in the the pot, you can obviously use uh, to do just this. But I quite liked the fact that this pen is fixed. It's it's a metal nib, and it just allows you more accuracy. I mean, I'm touching that uh, you know quite so quite a few times to get it going because I haven't loaded the pen massively with uh, you know with this uh, with a panel lighting. But you can kind of get the idea of how that would actually work in practice, yeah. Um, and as I said, I really like the fact that it was a metal uh, metal nib, and on larger scales, um, or just doing a Millennium Falcon, um, that's perfect because obviously there's a lot of panel lighting there, and you want to be ac as accurate as possible. Clean up, of course, is a fact of life when you're using these um, you know these products. Um, but I found there was a lot less of that because the metal nib on this panel liner. Um, allow me to be more accurate so there's much less clean up afterwards um, with uh, you know, with your cotton buds um, so I really like that I like the accuracy that you get but you can kind of see that you could use this in a lot of different areas I mean I'm using it with a panel solution um, but uh, I've also uh, seen people use uh, these things with various other kinds of uh, of uh, uh, paints thinned out um, uh, other kinds of um, paneling solutions um, even when you're trying to do weathering, uh, I've seen people use these to touch up just areas of um, uh, maybe a sandbag on a, on a tank. Or if you want to do uh, some very accurate um, you know, weathering on, uh, on say, uh, you know, a car engine or whatever it is. It's the fact that this nib is the finest I've seen. Um, calligraphy pens don't come down to this, this kind of nib, but this uh, I've engineered this, so it's absolutely tiny. And again, the the engineering is fantastic. It really is. It's 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 very very good indeed. Um, clean up again. It's it's, uh, it's as you'd expect. Uh, you can clean up just as you would with um, with any of uh, any thinner. Which uh, I'll, obviously I use uh, you know, Tamiya's to to clean uh, to clean the uh, clean my panel lines up, and you clean your nib uh, with with that as well. The nib comes out. Um, obviously these aren't uh, these aren't fixed. Um, what I would suggest is you you attach these so they're, they're solid, yeah, uh, because it obviously needs to go back in its uh, uh, in, in, put the cap back on, and you don't want to risk uh, damaging the the nib. But what I'm finding is um, that's quite a obviously a, a very tight fit. So what I uh, I tend to do is um, some you know long nose pliers, uh, and when I want to change the nib, um, just pull it out, yeah, and then push push it back in um, until it sits as low as it will go because you'll only go so far and that's enough so when you get the cap on you're not damaging the nib so that's the panel line pen itself uh, that's available on the store right now you get the uh the actual shaft itself and one uh, one nib um what i've also sourced uh because i know you guys um well bound to ask me are the replacement nibs yes there are um you get uh, uh three in this uh, replacement pack which is also on the store uh, they're all the same size uh, i don't think these are three different sizes they're not they're all the, they're all the same size but it gives you the option i guess of if you do damage the nib or um you want to keep nibs for for certain top kinds of uh, of paint jobs or weathering or panel lining you can do that if you if you want to um, so you get one with the um with the actual uh, shaft itself with the handle um, and these uh, um, extras are also uh, are also on the store so that is um i guess an innovation for uh, for panel liners if you do a lot of that and i certainly do um because i'm uh, i do a lot of uh, uh sort of space themed fantasy stuff um lots of star wars and loads and loads of panel lines as you as you, uh, as you can see with these kinds of of kits um but again, if you're looking to move away from uh, just using a brush, um, even if you're using a, a, a third party uh, paintbrush, if you still think that is, is not accurate enough because the, the tip is soft, you, know, you, you want something you can actually push into maybe a, um, a panel line or you want to be able to touch an area very, very accurately, which you can't quite do with a brush. This could be uh, um, a godsend for you. Um, as I said, that's the, the panel liner. 
uh, from from display uh, that's on the uh, the store uh, right now um, there are spare blades uh, if you um, if you feel you want to get a few extras uh, with uh, uh, with the handle again come back to me with any uh, queries any questions um, and I'll see you soon